Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to connect or point Namecheap domain to Shopify. Now, this video is not a video for tax savvy uh, you know, people, or actually it's a video for tax savvy people because you will need to know a couple of things. So, uh, first of all, here on your Namecheap account, go to your domain list. And first of all, what we'll need to do is we'll need to pick a domain that we want to connect to Shopify. So let's say this is the domain right here. Let's click manage and let's go to the advanced DNS section right here. So this is the domain. So we'll just copy the domain really quickly. We'll need this right here, but let's right now go to Shopify. So go to Shopify and go to your settings, go to your domains here and here on your domains, what you will need to do is you will need to connect an existing domain. So click connect existing domain, paste the domain right here, which is your domain. Uh, click next. And here you will have a lot of different things, but make sure to click verify connection, click verify connection. And now you will need to be a little bit tech savvy for this. So as you can see, we have a record, which is a uh, name, current IP address and required value, which is right here. So what we need to do is we need to go to uh, right here, a record at, and then we want to change the value. So we have a record uh, at, so we have name, which is a record name is this current IP address is this right here, which is right here. So we need to click this. Okay. This is it right here. As you can see, this is going to be it. And then um, as you can see, this is the, the first one. The second one is required value is this one right here. Okay. We can do, we can skip this with C name. C name should be www copy www. It should be right here, which is already right here. And then we need to put current value, which is right here, right? Which is right here. And then we just put okay. Um, and what we need to do is we need to do another C name, which is this right here. Another C name record, add new record, C name, this www, click OK. And then what you will need to do is you will need to add another A record, which is going to be this right here. So you copy this and we just copy it right here. We paste it right here. Once we click that, we are successfully basically connecting our domain. Now, as you can see, um, some providers take a few minutes to update seconds. You can check later on some connection updates. So here we can just click verify connection. And now it's verifying the connection, right? If you didn't do the stuff uh, correctly, then you will need to do it again here. So we can also delete everything. So let's say we want to do, delete these records. Let me show you once again here. We delete this, we delete all of these records. We add new records, which is a record. Um, copy this right here. Copy this right here. Okay. This is the first one. Second one is going to be this at. Then we have another one, which is going to be a C name. So go here and search for C name. This is going to be fusionpublic.com www because here it says www and then we do the same for for below add new record C name like this. We click click here and then we should click verify connection. And as you can see, C name current value is empty. Required value is this. Let's verify it once again. Okay. Current value is empty. It should not be empty because right here it's um, shops, my Shopify.com. So once you click here, it should take a couple of seconds, but it should be verified once we, as you can see, it's already verified right here. So that's basically it. Um, this is how you can uh, set up your, um, you know, domain. As you can see, we also have SSL pending, which can take a few uh, hours the most. And that's pretty much it. That's how to connect or point a name chip domain to Shopify. If you have any questions or concerns, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.